Because we think so highly of Patrick Lencioni's book, The Five Dysfunctions of a Team, this video is structured around its key points. We strongly recommend anyone in business read this wonderful book. Let's look at Lencioni's findings. Lencioni's research involved teams from numerous Fortune 500 companies as well as profit and nonprofit organizations. He found that there were five dysfunctions that caused failures in teams. The first sign that you have dysfunction is absence of trust. Trust should be your civilization's main economic currency. Failure to have it and your business will fail. Your team must feel safe enough to be vulnerable within your group. When they don't feel safe, they will work around processes, wasting time and effort trying to protect themselves rather than contributing to the group. The second dysfunction is fear of conflict. If you have a team that is afraid of conflict, it is very likely that your employees are withholding not only their opinions, but also a lot of creative ideas that could launch your company to new heights. The goal is to make it safe for your employees to feel like they can contribute. The third dysfunction is fear of commitment. Do your employees act happy to be at work? Do they buck up and put in extra long hours and overtime when projects are needed for tight deadlines? The easy part is recognizing your civilization's lack of commitment. The hard part will be energizing your team into action. The fourth dysfunction is avoidance of accountability. If the buck stops with no one, you have a serious accountability problem. Avoidance of accountability can be the result of many factors, including your response to employee failure. Want to be a transcendent company? Show your employees that the buck stops with you and that failure is sometimes the path to greater success, not a weapon to punish the risk takers. The fifth dysfunction is inattention to results. If your employees aren't committed to the bottom line, you will never reach maximum success. It's time to fire up their passion and get them invested in the company mission and goals. Again, they are counting on you to figure out how to take them to the common vision. Do any of these dysfunctions plague your team? If so, it's time to be a leader and get things moving in the right direction. A study of Lencioni's book can help you prevent dysfunction in your own team.